Hello, this is Chef Marcus Giuliano, and I'm your chef on a mission. Today's mission is cooking oil, once again. Coconut oil specifically. Here's a comment from YouTube. How about coconut oil for cooking? Thanks, from Jesse James. Well, yes, coconut oil is probably one of the best oils to cook with. Coconut oil, macadamia uh, nut seed oil, avocado oil, those are gonna be your best oils to cook with. Those have a, uh, more of a heat resistance, a high heat resistance. They don't break down as easily in the pan. But here's the bottom line to cooking with any oil out there. As soon as you put oil on heat, you're starting its detriment. You're starting to break the oil down. So any amount of heat starts that process. Certain oils, like the oils I mentioned, coconut, macadamia nut, avocado seed oil, have a higher heat resistance. So that process might be prolonged a little bit, but in actuality, when you cook with oil, you wanna use the smallest amount possible and try not to, if you can avoid oil in cooking at all, do it. Do it or use the least amount as possible. Okay, frying foods is not a good idea with any oil. I don't care what oil it is, coconut oil, this oil, that oil, that oil. You're subjecting the temperatures to 300 degrees, 325 degrees, and what's happening is the oil is just sitting there for an extended amount of time. In restaurants, the fryer sits on all day. So if a restaurant touts you, well, we use this in our fryer, we use this great oil in our fryer, Ask them how long their fryer has been on. It's been on, it's been sitting on for 12 hours, folks. The oil sits on all day long at that temperature. The oil's sitting there breaking down every single minute. Then they turn the fryer off at the end of the night, and what they do the next day, they turn it back on, and that oil goes back up to 300, 325 degrees, and it sits there for the whole day. Now, most restaurants do not change their fryer oil uh, daily. That's not a common practice. Oil is expensive and they'll get three, four days out of it. Some restaurants I know actually have an inline filtration system. So at the end of the night, that oil goes through a filtration system that's built in and then gets pumped back into the fryer and then they turn it back on the next day. So they're just filtering the particles out. And when you filter the particles out, that does make the oil last longer. In fact, most oils, folks, most refined, all refined oils do not really have an odor. The reason they don't have an odor is because they've been deodorized. So you can't really smell a rancid oil because rancid oil has no protein in it. The protein is what would smell. So when you smell, a, when you go into a restaurant and you smell that rancid fryer oil, that's all the particles and that's all the residues of all the stuff that they've been frying in the oil that is accumulated in the oil. So if you ever walk into a restaurant and you smell the fryer, do not eat anything that's fried. Do not eat anything in there uh, fried at all. And there's many restaurants you can walk in, especially when you walk out of the restaurant, you'll smell yourself like, oh, I smell like fryer, right? Um, as a young chef apprentice, when I worked in some places, at the end of the night, I would smell like the fryer. Because um, the fryer's just constantly going all day long and it's just spewing out all, all, all these odors. So back to the co cooking oil, coconut, macadamia, avocado, those would be your best choices. Uh, but again, use them sparingly just because they're better choices doesn't mean it's a right to abuse them. I'm Chef Marcus Giuliano. Thanks for watching. If you like my videos, please hit like, subscribe, leave some comments, leave some questions, and I'll be happy to answer.